Hey there everyone, so a couple years ago there was an awesome subscriber that had some extra alarms that they wanted to send in and have me unbox and use on this YouTube channel and that subscriber recently reached out again and said that they have some more alarms that they'd love to send in. So that's what I have today. The box is much bigger than last time and we're going to be unboxing this and seeing what's inside. Let's get started. It says fire alarms plus tech, so it might not all be fire alarms. There might be some other components within the box here. And as you can see, yes, this box barely made it to the house. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not in the best shape, but at least it made it. So, looks like there's a couple smaller boxes. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of boxes in here. Okay. There are many boxes within this bigger box. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this box right here, and let's see what's inside of it. You're gonna get to see a lot of unboxings in this video, I guess. Fire alarm devices. Looks like we have a Simplex Dual Action T-Bar. Looks like it's one of the newer models that has a little LED light right there, so when you pull it, the light turns on, it's addressable, so that's why there's a light. And uh, I do not have my B key on me right now, but uh, I'll have to get that later on in the video. It looks like right here we have an access control keypad, number keypad of some kind. It's probably used on a business or was used on a business. And uh, in order to get into a building or a certain part of the building, you have to type in a certain code, which unlocks the door. So I don't have a lot of access control devices, so... This is uh, going to be my very first. It looks like it's HID, I-Class, and then the model is somewhere on there. If you want to see it, you can pause and take a look right now. Let's see what else is within this smaller box here. It looks like it is some CCTV cameras. Ooh, some access communications cameras right here. Yeah, once again, I've never done a whole lot of security cameras and stuff like this, but uh, yeah, it's really cool to add to the collection here, and perhaps at some point in the future I can expand and, uh, and uh, use these on some kind of demonstration board. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this next box here. Could it be a speaker strobe? Ooh. Oh, wow. It's a Wheelock ceiling mount speaker strobe. See the exact model. Oh wait, no, it's not a speaker strobe, it's a chime strobe. See how it's a CH90-24MCC. Oh wow, that's really cool. It's a ceiling mount chime, chime strobe by Wheelock. I do not have one of these in my collection. It's the multi candela version. That's really cool. It looks like there still might be some more, something else in this box here. be a smoke detector of some kind. Ooh, whoa! It's one of the uh, the new Edwards, or new-ish Edwards LED ceiling mount. Is this a speaker strobe or a horn strobe? It's a GCAVWN ceiling horn strobe, 15 to 115 candela, white, no marking. That is really cool. Wow, this is my very first time ever holding one of these. And it came with an instruction manual. Now it looks like this does require a mounting plate of some kind, which I don't see in the box here. So hopefully there is a mounting bracket. Lots of boxes in this video. Here we are, packaged very nicely, sort of, and it looks to be an Edwards strobe with a mounting bracket here. Let's see what the box says. It is a Botch Security Systems STRB 24 volt Square 110 Candela Blue. Huh. 
Huh. Well, this does not look blue, so maybe that's a different box. But uh, there is fire marking on the side. It's worn off, though. So I have a feeling this could have been mounted outside or something. Uh, it's definitely used. And it's almost as if there could have been a speaker behind here at some point that was taken off. But uh, the strobe is definitely still usable. So, and since there's a mounting bracket, I could definitely still figure out how to use this. All right, let's see what else is in here. It looks like it's another Edwards device. It is an Edwards GC VRF, ceiling mount strobe. Let's see, hopefully this one comes with a mounting bracket. Oh, it looks like it's red this time. Ooh, and it has fire lettering. Wow, no mounting bracket. Or maybe it does come with one, I don't know. This is my very first time seeing, seeing this, but yeah, wow. 115 candela right now. That's interesting how some of these newer ones have like four different strobes on them or four different LED flashers. All right, it looks like we have one more box within this big box here. This is nothing. I have some more or another one of these ceiling mount. This one is a ceiling horn white. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, it has fire lettering on it. Wow, that's really cool. Let's see what's in here. This looks like it could be interesting. It looks like we have some EST Genesis alarms. This one is, or they're, they're both horn only, but this one has fire lettering. And this one is a chime, and this one is a horn. The fire lettering one is a chime and this one's just a horn. That's really interesting. Wow, these are some really unique alarms here. <laughs> Ooh, it's a blue wheel lock strobe casing. There's no actual strobe, but it is just a case. That's interesting. I might be able to figure out how to fit one of my RSS's in there and have a blue strobe. All right, let's see what we have here. Dun, da, da, da. Ooh. It is an Edwards G4SV EG4SV indoor speaker strobe. Wow. It looks like to me I am missing a mounting bracket because these prongs here usually snap into something on other alarms. But I don't have any of these, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Room side wiring plate. Ooh, we have some simplex devices. Looks like we have a simplex alarm indicator light. It's just a light that you can wire up to turn on when uh, different events happen. And then right here we have an actual simplex annunciator key switch. It's a smoke alarm annunciator. So these are usually wired within, uh, or a smoke alarm in indicator, sorry, not annunciator. These are usually wired into duct detectors and these key switches allow you to control a duct smoke detector because they're often in hard to reach places so maybe I can figure out how to wire this thing up on one of my systems it says it came with a 45 key the cat 45 key so I think I have one of those and then we have one more thing here it looks like we have a mounting bracket a couple mounting brackets, a couple of trim plates, ooh an alert trim plate, see that alert trim plate and then an alarm, a horn only, yeah a, uh, a G1RF-HD temporal horn with an alert mounting plate. 
That is really cool. So here's everything that was included in the package. I'll go through and test out some of this in just a second so that you can see it. However, before I do so, I think it's worth mentioning that there was a note included in this package. I won't read it or show it at the request of the sender for their privacy, but this package was sent by a small group of people and I really appreciate the kind words and uh, everyone in that group for taking the time to put this together and send it out my way. All of this stuff definitely benefits the channel. I'm super happy to add all this to the collection. A lot of this I don't have and um, yeah, I couldn't be more grateful for this. It made me take a second and think about my journey on YouTube and the channel and just how big the audience is and I could not be more appreciative for this audience. Everyone that's watching, everyone that's subscribed, I appreciate you. It doesn't go unnoticed. I could not ask for a better audience. So thank you to the group of people that sent me this and thank you to everyone for watching and subscribing and commenting. It uh, doesn't go unnoticed and I really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test out some alarms. So here's the Simplex T-Bar. I have a key for it now, and I'll go ahead and pull it so that you can see it. It's the dual action model. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Here's the inside, and it is a Simplex 4099-9006. And one thing that's interesting about these newer T-Bars is that this, this hole right here is where the light comes from that's seen on the outside. And the way that it's able to get all the way to here is through this piece of plastic right here. It goes right into that hole and then the light uh, reflects through the piece of plastic and out into the front here. So that's really cool. This is the uh, latest model of Simplex T-Bar that I have in my collection. So it's really cool to uh, finally have one of these. I have some batteries and alligator clips here, so let's go ahead and test out some of the alarms. Here's the Simplex indicator light here, and here's what it looks like when the light is on. So this key switch is actually an Edwards key switch, and the Cat45 key is an Edwards key, so I do have that from my panel in the SCR, and it does work. As you can see, you just can put the key in and turn it. The Edwards strobe works just fine. There it is. These next two devices are really loud. Here's one of the chime strobes. So these ceiling mount alarms do require a mounting bracket, which I do not have. However, the good news is that you can get them for not that much online. They're only a few bucks. So I actually already ordered a couple of them. They're gonna be coming in soon so that I can use these in the system tests. But in the meantime, I still can power out, power these devices just by attaching my alligator clips to these prongs right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This one's also kinda loud. It's really cool how all four of those flashers flash. But uh, here's also another cool thing about these new alarms is if you take off the front, it is really easy to adjust the candela settings go all the way up to uh, 115 um, and then in order to change the tones all you have to do is flip this switch right here it's not a, uh, a dip switch it's not um, jumpers it's just really a simple switch that you can flip as many times as you want so uh, yeah that's really cool you can do continuous or temporal on low or high volume and then there is also some uh, holes right there which you can use to test the polarity of the alarm to make sure it's working uh, when it's in use in a building. So that's also kind of cool. And then for those of you that are curious, here's what the mounting bracket looks like. I will be getting a couple in the mail shortly. Here's the strobe only version. It's right now flashing at 115 candela. Here's the other chime. This one came set on single stroke. So let's test it out. Yep, and it is four wire. I already did test the strobe. The strobe does work just fine. So there it is. Here's the Edwards speaker strobe. As you can see, the, the light on it does work just fine. And the speaker part of it does require a special mounting bracket that has more prongs. Uh, I don't 
have one of those coming in, but I'm sure I will eventually find one and pick it up. And then lastly, here is the ceiling mount, horn only, with the fire lettering. Let's go ahead and test it. This one's kind of loud too. There it is. And that was the last alarm that I'm going to test here today. And that's everything in the package. Thank you all for watching. Huge thank you to the uh, group of people that sent in all of this. I really appreciate it. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, everyone. Thank you.